A crucial step in writing your lifting plan is determining the best sling hitch type for your lift. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the three main types of hitches to rig a load and discuss the best practices for rigging each one. Welcome back to the Lifting and Rigging channel. My name is Devin and today, we're gonna cover the three main sling hitch types that you'll most likely use to rig your next load and how to determine which one is the best for your pick. And so let's get started by breaking down the simplest of these hitch types, the vertical hitch. A vertical hitch or a straight hitch is the most basic hitch used to directly connect a load to a lifting device. On a vertical hitch, the eye of a single chain sling, wire rope sling, or synthetic sling is connected to the crane or hoist hook, while the other eye is connected to an attachment point on the load. A lift made using a vertical hitch will utilize the full lifting capacity of the sling. However, when performing a lift with just a single sling, a tagline should be used to provide additional load control and to minimize rotation or twisting while an overhead lift is being performed. Next, let's talk about the basket hitch. Basket hitches distribute a load equally between two legs of a sling. When using a basket hitch, the load is cradled by running the sling underneath the load and then attaching both eyes of the sling separately to the hook. A basket hitch has twice the lifting capacity of a single leg vertical hitch when the legs are in a true 90 degree vertical fashion and the DDD ratio is 25 to one. This typically requires a below the hook lifting device like a lifting beam or a spreader bar or two separate lifting devices. If the sling angle is less than 90 degrees when using a basket hitch, the sling capacity is reduced. Basket hitches should not be used on unbalanced loads or loads that are difficult to balance. More than one sling may be necessary to help ensure load control. Basket hitches can be used as either a single, double, or double wrap configuration. Double basket hitches use two slings to balance a load by keeping the slings apart. Double wrap basket hitches are similar to standard basket hitches, except the sling is wrapped around the load twice. This provides excellent load control for loose materials and gives a good grip on smooth surfaces. So when you're using a double wrap on a basket hitch, make sure that you don't overlap the length of the sling at the bottom of the load. And then make sure that you keep an eye on it when you're positioning the sling as the slack is taken up so they don't cross. So finally, let's take a look at the choker hitch. A choker hitch is used to tighten or snug a sling down securely to provide greater load control. When using a choker hitch, one eye of the hitch is wrapped around the load and then passed through itself and then attached to the crane or hoist hook. Due to stresses created at the choke point, a choker hitch reduces the lifting capacity to 75 to 80% of what it is capable at in a single leg vertical hitch. The least amount of capacity reduction occurs when the angle of choke is 120 degrees or greater. Any less than that can result in a lifting capacity as low as 40% of the single leg. For more complete contact, use a double wrap choker hitch. Double wrap choker hitches are similar to standard choker hitches, except that the sling is wrapped around the load twice. This hitch compresses the load and can help prevent it from slipping out of the sling. Make sure that you use slings that are long enough so that the choke hitch is effective and grips the load. The choke point should always be on the sling body and never on the sling eye, a fitting, base of the eye or fitting, or on a splicer tag. The choke hitch should always be pulled tight before the lift is made and not pulled down during the lift. Before we wrap up, I wanna go into bridle or multiple leg sling assemblies. There's another type of rigging method that involves multi-leg bridle sling assemblies made with two, three, or four straight legs attached to a master leg. The bridle sling assemblies can be used for lifting and handling loads that have fixed lifting lugs or attachment points. The multiple legs of a sling attach to a master link and work together to provide additional support and stability when the sling hook is positioned over the center of gravity of a load. Bridle sling assemblies can have adjustable sling leg lengths to help level and control unbalanced loads. Make sure to check each sling angle and refer to a rigging chart to make sure that the sling is not overloaded based on the working sling angle. I hope this video was able to give you a better understanding of the different sling hitch types that you can use when rigging a load. If you found this video helpful, let us know by clicking the like button, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and maybe even sharing it with a friend or coworker that you think might benefit from this training. Remember that it's always the responsibility of the end user or the designated or qualified person to inspect their rigging equipment and make sure that it is in proper working condition and rated for their specific task prior to performing that lift. You can also grab our lifting and rigging best practices infographic to ensure that everything from operator training to environmental conditions have been factored into your lift plan. If you're having trouble determining which sling hitch type is the best for you, or if you need additional help with your upcoming lift, don't hesitate to reach out to one of our lifting specialists. 
They'd be happy to help you however they can. And so for all of us at the Lifting and Rigging channel, thank you for watching.